Hello students, welcome back to the class of uh, chemistry of 10th class. So we are studying the second chapter that is acid, bases and the salt. So acid and the bases general properties we have seen. Now today I am going to start with the salt. So today we are going to start with the salts. So first salt I have taken that is plaster of Paris. Okay, plaster of Paris commonly known as POP. Very common salt. I think everybody has seen so many uses in day to day life. Okay, so plaster of Paris commonly known as POP. Its formula is CaSO4 dot half H2O. Calcium sulfate hemi acetate. Calcium sulfate hemi means half. Hydrate. Okay. So hemi hydrate, not acetate. It is hemi hydrate. Once again, listen to the name of this. Calcium sulfate hemi hydrate. CaSO4 twice H2O. It can also be written as CaSO4 whole twice H2O. It means that two molecules of the calcium sulfate are sharing one water molecule. Okay. So both formulas are correct. So, yes, why it is known as plaster of Paris? As plaster of Paris, this compound is prepared from, okay, gypsum. It is prepared from the compound called gypsum. And maximum amount of the gypsum found in Paris, okay? Gypsum jo tha, wo zyada matra mein Paris mein paya gaya tha. So, that is why isse jo obtained hua, kaha mila Paris mein? So, it is called plaster of Paris. Okay, now let's see the reaction for the preparation of POP. This is the reaction for the preparation of plaster of Paris. So let's take gypsum. Gypsum is what? CaSO4 dot 2H2O. Okay, it is heated up to 100 degrees Celsius or in the Kelvin I can say 373 Kelvin. Okay, heated up to this temperature. I can write down delta or heated. All of you know that this delta the sign for heating. Okay. So it gives you POP that is CaSO4 half H2O. Once again listen the name calcium sulfate hemihydrate. Hemihydrate plus leftover water that is one and half water molecule in order to balance the reaction. And this is what your plaster of Paris or POP. So this is the reaction for the preparation of plaster of Paris. Okay. So what happened that as I told you in this reaction the temperature should be 100 degrees Celsius. Temperature should not exceed 100 degrees Celsius. Temperature 100 degree ke upar nahi jana chahiye. What happened if it goes beyond 100 degrees Celsius? So see if the temperature is above 100 degrees Celsius, then what happened? This plaster of Paris is converted into dead burn plaster. It is converted into dead burn plaster that is this half water molecule is also removed and it is converted into dry that is without water CaSO4 and that is called dead burn plaster. Is it clear to everybody? When it is formed, when temperature goes beyond 100 degrees Celsius, then plaster of Paris is converted into dead burn plaster. Okay. Now the properties. Properties that it is white powder. Okay. All of, I think all of you have seen plaster of Paris. It is used before paint of any wall that the POP they are putting and then paint is applied. So it is white color powder. Now the reaction with the water. So this is what plaster of Paris. CaSO4. CaSO4 half H2O. Hey na? So this is CaSO4 half H2O plus water. One and a half water molecule. Okay. So it forms back what? Gypsum. Yeh wapas humko jakar gypsum de deta hai. Yeh mene plaster of Paris liya. CaSO4. CSO4 dot H2O मैंने लिया plus इसमें one and half water add किया so it gives you what gypsum that is CSO4 dot two H2O gypsum ठीक है 
So what happened that when we mix water to the plaster of Paris and all of you have seen that after half an hour that plaster of Paris turns into hardened mass. Hai na? Plaster of Paris is hard mass. Mein badal jata hai. So why it is so? This reaction is the plaster of Paris liya. Upon this water add kiya. Or this mold mein wo slurry daloge. Decorative items aap logo ne dekha hooga. Statues dekhe hooge. Thik uh, hai. Uh, ये सब देखे होंगे उससे बना हुआ सो so, हार्ड होने के बाद में वो जो बनाता है कंपाउंड दैट इज नोन एज जिप्सम CaSO4.2H2 और जब ये हार्ड मास में बदल जाता है व्हेन इट इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू जिप्सम आफ्टर द एडिशन ऑफ द वाटर 1% एक्सपेंशन इन द स्ट्रक्चर टेक प्लेस उसकी जो साइज में उसके स्ट्रक्चर में स्ट्रक्चर में क्या होता है 1% का इंक्रीज होता है स्ट्रक्चर में कब जब वो जिप्सम बना लेता है उसका एडवांटेज क्या रहता है कि व्हेन वी आर पुटिंग द स्लरी ऑफ प्लास्टर ऑफ पेरिस इन एनी मोल्ड अगर डेकोरेटिव आइटम्स बहुत सुंदर सुंदर फ्लावर और डिजाइंस बनाए जाते हैं बिल्कुल बारीक नक्शाकारी के तो क्या होता है 1% एक्सपेंशन होता है तो जो ग्रूव्स रहते हैं मोल्ड में बारीक डिजाइन जो रहती है मोल्ड के अंदर उसके अंदर भी प्लास्टर ऑफ पेरिस जाने के बाद जब सूख कर बाहर निकलता है तो बहुत ही सुंदर और ब्यूटीफुल कार्व्ड आर्टिकल्स निकलते हैं ठीक है सो दिस इज व्हाट द रिएक्शन ऑफ प्लास्टर ऑफ पेरिस विद द वाटर नाउ वी विल सी द यूजेस ऑफ दिस सो इट इज यूज्ड इन मेडिकल देयर इज अ फ्रैक्चर्ड बोन फ्रैक्चर्ड बोन वगैरह में देखा होगा आपने किसी को भी जब प्लास्टर चलता है चढ़ता है बॉडी पार्ट्स में तो वो जो उसमें केमिकल लगाया जाता है व्हाइट कलर का देखा होगा सो दैट इज नथिंग बट प्लास्टर ऑफ पेरिस सो इट इज हैविंग इट्स यूज इन medical for making toys statues and jewelry decorative items also us mein bhi use hota hai before painting as i told you it is applied on the walls for the ceilings also jo false ceiling or designs banti hai aajkal that is also uh, made with the help of plaster of paris it is its percentage is present in chalks also to write down on blackboard then fireproof material कुछ मटेरियल्स होते हैं इंडस्ट्री में और यहां पे जो कि फायर प्रूफ बनाना चाहिए सो so, उनके अंदर की जो वॉल रहती है इनर वॉल्स इज मेड अप ऑफ पीओपी सो दैट इट वोंट कैच फायर ठीक है सो फॉर मेकिंग फायर प्रूफ मटेरियल और द इक्विपमेंट्स इन द लैबोरेटरी आल्सो इट इज यूज्ड इन द लैब इट इज यूज्ड इन ऑर्डर टू मेक सम अपैरेटस एयर प्रूफ अगर कुछ अपैरेटस रहते हैं बड़े-बड़े जिसमें थोड़ी बहुत भी गैप रह जाती है तो उस गैप को सील करने के लिए भी प्लास्टर ऑफ पेरिस यूज किया जाता है सो दीस आर ऑल द यूजेस ऑफ द प्लास्टर ऑफ पेरिस ओके सो रिमेंबर प्लास्टर ऑफ पेरिस CaSO4 हाफ H2O दैट इज कैल्शियम सल्फेट हेमी हाइड्रेट हेमी हाइड्रेट सो दैट्स ऑल इन दिस वीडियो actually this is the part of the chemistry so students listen here this uh, chemistry of 9th class 10th 11th or 12th as compared to the other subject the chemistry is very easy chemistry is very easy you can find out last year five years paper the questions asked in the chemistry are very easy and students are scoring full marks in the chemistry portion so if you are paying attention on the chemistry portion and going through the ncrt book Read your NCRT book line wise, word to word. Read each and every activity. Give importance to the NCRT questions. So after all these means revision of the NCRT book and the, all the NCRT questions, definitely I'm sure that you will score maximum full out of full marks in the chemistry because chemistry portion is easy as compared to other subjects.